Well, hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another Game Pass achievement guide. And this time, we are getting it all in the fantastic contrast. This was developed and published by Compulsion Games, and was in fact their first release game way back in 2014. Now, you can normally get this for $7.99, but like I said, this went on to Game Pass from the 3rd of February 2022, so play it, love it, enjoy it, then love it. So we play as Dawn, an imaginary friend made up by the lovable Dee Dee, who gives us power like no other. Blending into walls, the ability to not talk or say ouch when we fall and break our legs. That apparently didn't give us much power to put much clothes on though, as you'll see in a minute. Um, <laughs> but this is a really good puzzle platformer game. Now as for achievements, they are pretty easy, there are a few story related ones. A few that require to do things first time, but you can press pause and select reload last save to try again if you end up failing. Also, there are 10 collectibles in Act 1, 6 collectibles in Act 2, and 10 in Act 3, so just be wary, but eh. But eh, but. Now, it's all easy though, and enjoyable, so what's not to love, right? So overall, you're going to be looking at around 2 to 3 hours to get this done. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Now, there will be a lot of times... Uh, in the game that you will end up sort of falling and falling to your death and dying ever so slightly uh, But the checkpoints are very nice in this game. They are very lenient so you don't actually start too far back um, If at all so first thing we're gonna do you see this glowing little bit of white light by the red by the side of us there Press the X button on that and that is already our first collectible It's a nice drawing kind of makes dawn look like a creepy stalker, but um, hey welcome to the real world, right? <laughs> That's just that's just normal people. Okay, not normal people, freaks, but still. So you can interact with that, it doesn't actually do anything. Um, other than that, we can now interact with the lamp to start the game. <laughs> I am just laughing at Dee Dee's escape plan there. Very fantastic, uh, very fantastic parenting where somebody wants to escape all the time. So anyway, click that, you can press Y to skip any cutscene, which we'll be doing throughout the whole game. And then we can press A to jump and get on out. And as I said earlier, you can see uh, Didi's imagination for giving us much clothing is a bit non-existent in this one. We kind of look like we're about to go to brothel, um, a brothel for a night job, which we've been doing for 12 years. Right, so stay here until she opens it up. Then when you press the right trigger, you will unlock an achievement. Um, but you can basically uh, blend into walls whenever there is light and shadows about. As soon as you can, you can just jump down onto the shadows and then press the right trigger again to shift out. So like I said, you will have one achievement and uh, yeah. Yeah, we look like we're just about to make $300 for banging a fat, disgusting, one-inched, weaned Polish guy or something. Um, but still, so press X to interact with this hay card, push it over, again, left stick to move an object. And uh, I thought Didi was going to do a nice Assassin's Creed style jump there and sort of break a neck, but um, obviously not that I want children to break their neck, of course. <laughs> uh, no, don't try that at home. Right, so again, any any cutscenes we're going to skip with. You could have imagined me smaller, you tiny little douchebag. Anyway, so you see the shadow in front of us. Go up to the wall, press the right trigger, and we can now climb up. Try not to do what I was doing here and try to go through a place where we can't actually go. Because, of course, it's all about the shadows. So you press A to jump and then right trigger as soon as you're at the top there to shift into the wall. And that is it. Press right trigger again to shift out. And, well, you'll know. You'll get used to this. This is the main mechanic of the game. So this big ball sack of light right in front of us is called a luminary. Now, to get um, past certain objects and items and puzzles in the game, etc., we need to collect... You don't need to collect all of these luminaries, but um, just enough to move on. So as we get to the bottom of the stairs, turn to the right here next to these tables. Grab this big poster on the wall. That's the second collectible done. And then from here... Um, have a look, you can see the luminary just at the top right hand corner, so jump up on this big gear cog And just wait until the uh, old bike pedal I tell you what, the way we address, we kind of look like a bike ourselves And there we go, press right trigger to get out, and that's your second out of ten luminaries You will unlock another achievement there um, But for some reason they didn't unlock on my screen, which is bloody annoying So from here, turn to the right again, next to these little bits of tables Get your third out of ten collectibles now, there's the ghost note. We do need to go in there, but don't go in there just yet. We're going to be grabbing a couple of miscellaneous, missable achievements. So, when the ever-annoying Dee Dee, no offence, tells us to go in, say, screw you, up your guts, we are going to go just to this 
<laughs> little place just above it. There's the ghost note, and then right there is dirty. So go ahead, press the X button right by the door. And girls, girls, girls! I want to see some girls' buttholes, please. I am an imaginary friend, and I need to see naked ladies. Uh, but apparently that's not happening, so that's just a shame. It's not that kind of game, which uh, they really should have thought that one through. Um, anyway, ooh, Gentleman's Club. Shall we take a look in here? I want to see some Polish one-inch wieners, please. No, yeah, whatever. Anyway, interact with this um, uh, gramophone thing, and you're going to see a shadow start. It's like a little cutscene on the wall, so we can jump up, interact with it. Again, by, by jumping in, pressing the right trigger, of course. Jump on Dee Dee's head, if you can, of course. There we go. And then just jump to the right, shift out, and for one, we will get our third out of ten luminary. And then when we jump across, it's going to be a little wall we can go in. Press this switch here on the wall, and we're going to get the Extra Life 2012 donor list. So this is the To the Heroes Among Us achievement, and that one again is easily missable. Um, and again, for some reason, the achievements in this game can take like 20 to 30 seconds to unlock. So if it doesn't unlock for you straight away, don't panic. Don't start smashing your control of the TV and everything. You'll be fan just fan. So there we go then. So we've got the dirty achievement for trying to look at girls' buttholes, but it didn't. Uh, they didn't want to let us do that. Or gentlemen sausages didn't want to let us do that either. And we got the two the heroes among us achievement. So now we can head into the ghost note. Fine, Dee Dee, we'll do... We'll, let's do everything that you want to do, selfish turd. Right, so from here, when we walk in, we're going to go to the right. Uh, we basically need to uh, mess around with the lights and a couple of spotlights and everything. So where we are, by the entrance, turn to the right there. And we're going to turn on the spotlight. So, that's fantastic. But, um, uh, you know, again, Dee Dee's a real-life person. You'd think she'd be able to do this herself, but she's just a teeny insignificant kid. So... Let's just save her, save her ass again, eh? Let's save the bacon. Right, so the two spotlights are basically directly in front of us, so move it with the right trigger and put it just underneath the light there, and that should do that automatically. Just over to the opposite side of the room is going to be the next spotlight. So again, press X to interact with that. Put it to the right, and you're going to see the old drum bag and ball bag of life. Oh, God, I do miss drumming. Did you know I was a drummer once? wasn't a very good one, but uh, people still seem to enjoy it because I th used to throw drumsticks into the crowd. I accidentally threw a drumstick at a guy's eye once. That was a genuine mistake. Anyway, that's for another story. So now what we're going to do is head to the drummer on the right. Again, we're going to blend into the wall and we're going to jump up on his head. And now we can get out of it. Get out of it, yeah. Right, go down and go to the left right here for another collectible. So, obviously, you can see uh, collectibles in the distance because, of course, they've got all the white swirly ball baubles around it. Now, this is the whole luminaries thing that I was on about. Just next to the spotlight there, uh, as we uh, interact with it and put it up, was like a little machine, and it only had one blinking flashing thing. So, that's where you've got to put your luminaries in in order to finish this. So, so we don't have to get every luminary in the game, but, you know, it's always worth having quite a lot. So, now we're going to eavesdrops on Cat, Cat Slater. Are oh, you Schlage? That that cat Slater. EastEnders? Only British people know that. Yeah. Americans are probably thinking, Shut your trap. So I will. Right, so let's <laughs> skip the cutscene. And we're going to head down the stairs. But before heading to the left, we're going to go back on ourselves. And there's another collectible. So like I said, they, they are easily located, but they can be easily missed as well. So now we can get out of here. And there is going to be another achievement you're going to unlock called Room 509. Um, I, to be honest, I unlocked these and then recording went up the gut. So I had to just do this bit again. So from now on, you'll see actual achievements unlocking on the screen. Right. So we're going to follow Dee Dee. And uh, basically, she's going to be crying because daddy's leaving because he likes to get his uh, wiener wet and everything, except his mother, or oh, her mother, his mother, oh god. But when she says, uh, you're pretty strong, we get a new ability, you can now press the B button to break weak structures. So, go up to where the gramophone, gramophone was again, break the barrier here, and there's going to be the 4th out of 10 Luminariasos to collect the Renos. And then what we can do is just jump down. It looks like a pretty badass power, but there we go. So now we can bash through here. Really? You stop telling me what to do! Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't condone violence against any kids, but you know, if they get annoying, try and 
bash them over and have a laugh. Uh, <laughs> just joking, of course. Meh, meh, meh. Right, so don't bash any kids and go through when the cutscene's done here. There is another collect the more in front of us, as you could just see. Another little cutscene, though. Uh, so before moving on and messing around with that, go to the left, have a look at the table, and that's the next collectible. You can view them if you want. I choose not to because, uh, you know, they're just... It's collectible, collected, we don't need to see. But it's, you know, it's all good for the story, so take a look. So put this projector all the way to the right, just so you can see the shadow sort of on the left. So as you can see, now we'll be able to jump... <laughs> we'll be able to shift in, jump up, and then shift out. Uh, as soon as you get to the top, so we can jump up there. Go past the pool table, someone can't play pool. <laughs> Losers! Can't play finish pool. And then we go in up. And then what we're going to do is blend into this wall, go to the left, and there's going to be the old Luminari sauce, 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 sauce. There's the next one. Right, keep going, and in here. And this is basically, we're going we're gonna to be coming up to the, another missable achievement now, but before getting the film reel there, have a look at the collectible on this table, and grab the Luminari Asios. Luminaries, too. Now we can grab the uh, cinema reel. And this is where the next save point is. So let's jump down, turn around, and we're going to go back outside and follow Dee Dee. But this is where we're going to be getting the jump over the void first time um, achievement. So if you fail jumping over the void for the first time, you can reload your last save. And you'll just have to um, literally come back out to this bit. So the checkpoint's not too far away. But uh, ignore Dee Dee and her just annoying ramblings for now. What we're going to do is go and get another luminary. So go all the way to the end. Excelsior. You literally just... Excelsior is just every nerd ever. You just associate that with a nerd, don't you? Now we've got arched back, big butt, and big old chunky shoes. So jump on a head, jump on a shoe, and grab the next luminary. Lovely job. Is she practicing her rimming right there? <laughs> oh, yeah, she really is. That's good rimming, honey. You uh, keep at it. I'll see, I'll see you after you finish for a rim of, of the glass. Of course, <laughs> rimming glass. Okay, so here we go then. Now, I failed this about four or five times, so chances are you may not get this one. Chances are you may get this because you probably are a better gamer than me, but I will show you what to do. So what you need to do... This is the luminary bit, so you need to interact with this three times, as you can see, until the lights light up. And now Didi's going to move the spotlight. Now, obviously we're going to blend in. What you need to do, there is a gap in the middle. So when you get to the B, you, ne you need to jump up, you're going to get out, and then you need to immediately press the right trigger. So jump here, and then press the right trigger pretty much immediately. Only once, and then that should be that one. So what you can do then, that unlocks that achievement. As we'll be able to see. So there we go. Now that's thinking with shadows. But what you can do, if you got that one first time and need to fall down the gap, just fall down the gap. And the next achievement, um, uh, which one is that one? The, uh, my god, it's full of stars achievement unlocks. So, so again, um, as we go and bash these three to get the bridge to fall... Sorry, I completely forgot the achievement name there. So if you manage to clear that first time, just fall down the gap, and you will unlock both the achievements there. So don't panic. Again, if you did fall down, just keep at it until you get it. You, you, you'll you get it. You'll get it. Right, before moving in, grab this big note off this ticket booth right here. And that's the only collectible there is. Now, Dee Dee can, uh, well, she can be actually good. Bit of usefulness out of a child for once. Instead of child labour, where people apparently frown upon that kind of thing, she's actually um, pretty decent for once. So, thank you very much. Not literally, though, of course. Right, so, from here we need to find a way into the theatre. Oh, very easy. So, take a look around if you want, but there's nothing of interest apart from moving these uh, three things. So, uh, what you need to do is, with the left one, which you've got. We need to put that one in the middle. So I do actually make the mistake here of putting it, putting him to the left. So the the vampire thing with the cane. <laughs> we need to put him in the middle. And this big Dracula mother flubber. We need to put him on the left hand side. Um. So yeah. So just <laughs> I'm just making just checking my mistake. 
And again, what you need to do is leave a little bit of a gap, um, which I don't do here. So you need to leave a little bit of a gap because you can't actually jump up through the shadows. Uh, but what you need to do then is just make it, uh, just again, have a look at the shadows just to make sure that you've got enough um, sort of ability there to jump up, that you've got enough room that we can just jump up and up onto the other side. So that is how you need to sort of do that and uh, where to place these. So as you can see then, I cannot get through because stupid me uh, decided that I put them all close together. So it just doesn't work. So <sighs> come in. I will realize how moronic I've been in just a moment. If you can just wait, that'd be fantastic. Okay, there we go. So I've just realized. So we're going to move at Nosferatu over ever so slightly to the left. And now that should be good. So blend into the wall, jump up, and there we go. That is fantastic. Right, there is going to be another collectible as we jump up here. So make sure to grab that off the table. And what we can also do as well is... Um, there you go, just have a little look there. Uh, just had a little look. See see that you should be on the same amount of collectibles that I am. So when you press the right trigger, you can actually some, pill, um, some parts go in and out. Mm -hmm. That sounds interesting. I like going in and out. Of bed? No. I like to stay in bed because my fat, lazy butthole. But still, right, from here, what we're going to do... Um, basically, Didi's dad's being beaten the crap out of. And what you're supposed to do is rush to this movie bit and put the movie in to stop him getting beaten up. But all we're going to do is take our time until the punch bag achievement unlocks. So, just take your time and as soon as he says that, Eh, hey, you broke my finger! Crap gangsters, mind, if that's all they can do is break a finger. Um, as soon as he says that, the punch bag achievement should unlock and then we can interact with the movie reel, pop the reel in. And lucky Johnny boy, maybe you should stop sucking so much crap and bows, man. Right, so that's that bit then, now we can move on, follow Die Die out, old, old Die Boy, old Die Boy, oh Die, everyone's called Die in Wales, see, even if they're not called Die, everyone's called Die, oh bloody hell Die, anyway, <laughs> swiftly moving on, um, so you should get the You Broke My Finger achievement as well, now we're going to do this tiny little puzzle, which I've done wrong, you need to wait a little bit until the umbrellas, um, uh, for the umbrellas, basically it's just a luminary up here, the 8 out of 10, uh, but as you'll be able to see, why you need to leave a bit of time is <laughs> that, that. Because it'll jump you off, um, chuck you off if you do that. So, put the first one down first. Wait literally about 10 seconds or so. And then, put the other umbrella on. You can hear it starting down, ticking down. Obviously, it counts down when it gets a bit faster. So, then we can jump up, jump over the other side, jump over. And then we should be good to go to grab this luminary. So that's 8 out of 10. Now, just to let you know, I don't actually collect all 10. I collect the 9 out of the 10, but it literally makes no difference in terms of uh, story progression or achievement. So, again, do not panic. Ye old butt snatch off about it. <clears throat> and so, let's keep going. And flying down. Why, if Didi's so good, why didn't she give us these powers pretty much straight away? Why do we have to get to a certain point in life and then she goes, Oh, there you go, I forgot you could do that. Well, <laughs> It's a goddamn bunch. I've got a jacket, man. It's freaking freezing. Right, so we need to get to the fifth floor. Again, these puzzles seem like they could be extremely complicated, but they're really not too bad at all. But from here, we're going to turn directly around. There is another collectible, and that's the final one for the chapter. So you sh we should now get the Streets Sweepers achievement. Somewhere, there we go. Right, so now you should have all collectibles that have act one, so now we can just crack on with the game. So head down here to the elevators and press the button, grab this um, luggage cart, uh, drag it over to the left. And for some reason, this tiny bit of luggage cart, unless there's like, you know, dead bodies and a whole bunch of gold and heavy metal in it, apparently that breaks the elevator, but it means we can jump up. So, well, you win some, you lose some. Fix your goddamn elevators. What am I paying you a million pounds a month for? Right, before heading down, what we need to do is actually interact with the elevator again. Because what you'll be able to see in the background is the lights and shadows moving. So just head down here again, and you're going to see two switches on the wall. So interact with the first one. And again, it's just a case of um, sort of putting it, placing it nicely. So um, sort of put it about halfway in between. And then with the one on the right, obviously we just need to put that one quite a bit lower. There we go. So we should be able to jump up here, jump up onto the left, 
and then jump up onto the left. Again, if you're finding yourself struggling, just um, move the left one up or down a little bit until you are up and you are golden as ball nuggets. Um, <laughs> ball nuggets? What in the hell? Right, so head all the way down, back to where the elevator is. Interact with this fire alarm thing on the left. Uh, what you're going to see is obviously that fly up. Now from here, we can't actually jump up. Uh, so what we need to do is actually interact with the elevator again. And that's going to put it all the way down. Do not stand on the elevator. Well, well thank you. Because of me, they, they've now got a warning. Imagine somebody doing that for a laugh. Actually, that's just TikTok. That's probably everyone on TikTok. Isn't it? Anyway, everyone's stupid on TikTok. Everyone. Right, so interact with the fire alarm on the left-hand side. Now make a run for it down to the other end. Make sure to blend into the wall quickly. And then jump to the right there and you should be able to go. Now at this point, just be ever so careful. Just jump slightly and jump up. And then you can jump up onto the ledge. I actually fell down. There is a luminary there. Uh, the ninth out of tenth one. But I edited it out because donkey asked me. Jump too far, fell down, had to do that bit again, which was annoying. It only takes a minute to get here, but still, just take your time uh, with, make sure you're not like over jumping and things. So heading up here, uh, jump on um, woman's shoe, a uh, cat's shoe, cat's like a slag shoe, and then just jump on the cigarette. She's gonna put that one up. Jump up on a head, jump up on a Johnny's shoulder, and then what you do is just keep moving to the left, and then eventually, like you said, like you just seen, you should just fall down lovely. So from here, um, it's not this door, but the opposite one, so go all the way down, interact with the doors, and this is basically the end of Act 1, so <laughs> it's easy, right? See, now if you said, I love you kiddo, these days, the police are going to be all over you, and you're going to be ratted out on all social media. You can't tell any kiddos you love them, even if it's supposed to be a woman. Nah, it's it's wrong, apparently. Now, if you were too late, what you would see is Kat shooting Johnny, and then you'd have to do it again. Um, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, that's, uh, that's America down to a T, right? Got a problem? Shoot someone, apparently. I just joke in America, you know I love you, right? <laughs> Red. Right, so what you're going to do with, there's another collectible, it's the photo frame, right where Dee Dee's escape plan is, so make sure to pick that one up before we go. And then moving forward ever so slightly is going to be yet another cutscene. Where have you been? I don't know. You haven't you got the power to summon me? I am your just imaginary friend, after all. What kind of looks hookerish, apparently, for some reason. Uh, so you can interact with that. Again, it makes no difference. Now, this is a missable achievement. So interact with this, but do not skip it. Press X to interact with it and just leave her talk. Her yap, 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 yap talk. Do not skip it. I suppose if you do accidentally skip it, um, you can uh, just press replay and chapter select. Or you can just reload your last save. But just let her yammer on about how, um, you know, poor she is. Even though she looks like a, she lives in a real rich house. Oh, woe is me. Such such problems you've got, child. And there we go. <laughs> but eventually the family life should unlock for depressing Dee Dee. So we jump down on the table, interact with this movie stub ticket type thing. Oh, it's an eviction notice, so I was completely off the ball right there. Um, but when we get here, we're going to turn around. There's going to be another collectible. There it is. Turn directly around. There's the next collectible. And then again, turn directly around, there's going to be the third collectible. There's only six in this chapter, of course. So we've already got three out of the other... <laughs> six. Right, we're going to follow Dee Dee. We've got another new ability. Press the B button and we can dash through thin shadows. So just press the B button, press the B button, press the B button. When we get to this next bit, again, what you need to do is just press A and then B to dash through this next bit. For some reason, I struggled with that, and that took about four or five times for me to not die. There we go. And then just head head towards the light. Caroline, look towards the light. Luckily, we're not dying. We are just going to the circuit. So that's going to unlock us another achievement. Also, we're going to grab another collectible. So from where we start, go directly in front of us, jump over these boxes here, and you're going to see another luminary here, the first out of 15, and the collectible directly in front of us there too. So... Grab that boy. Grab that boy. Yeah, dig that boy. Yeah, grab that boy. 
And we got old, uh, come on in, old perky titties dawn, let's go. So, jump all the way down. Go to the left, we are going to be grabbing another luminary. I suppose if you're going to imagine, imagine a friend up, um, at least make him look good, you know. At least make a man look like 20 inches and perky boobies now. You can't, uh, you can't have flat nips or a flat butt. Nah, what's the point? So, jump up, just be careful, take your time here, because it's very easy to slip off these rocks. Wait until the rock on the left, uh, <laughs> just appears, and then, as soon as this bit starts thinning out in front of us, like a hair, like my hairline, jump across. Again, be careful, it's very easy to over-jump there, but when you're here, just interact with that, job done. Yes, my hairline has been thinning out for many a year now. And well into my 30s, it's only going to get worse. So we can jump down, because where we're going to end up is basically at the start of the circus camp again. But it should be fine, because the luminary is connect collected. So uh, we can now go to the opposite side from where Dee Dee is. This is where we're going to start first start um, trying to repair the three attractions. Again, you don't have to do this in order. You can do the pirate ship first if you want, and then this one. But, well, you know, well, it's, let's just do this one, is it? So we've got the three luminaries. I think I can turn it on. Well, all it took was for me to do all the hard work and then you to um, have fun and do the riding. Okay, I see how this goes. We, we're going to have a big chat as soon as this is done. Son of a bitch. I'm just helping you out because your dad's a dong and keeps cheating on your mother. Anyway, I'm on the completely wrong part. So basically the part where we need to go is where the luminary section bit was. Because that is the only place that we're going to be able to jump on the horses. So, uh, there we go. So, jump up. Obviously, blend in. And then, obviously... Now, be be mindful of the lampposts and everything. Because they do start moving as well. Um, so, it's it's very easy to get knocked off. Because you're just focusing so much on trying to jump across to the other side. It's easy to forget that you've got to press the B button to dash through lampposts and things. So, again, just be very mindful of that. So jump up to this horse. I did end up falling, um, but just blend out so you can drag yourself up. Grab the fourth out of 15 Luminarioses. And then blend back in to jump over to the next set of horses. Again, if you see a big pole, just make sure to press the B button to dash through it. I do get lucky with this bit and don't see it. Oh, wow, thanks. You you are so helpful. Mm. I suppose she is, because we couldn't get to the other side otherwise. Right, so we can now blend out, grab the fifth luminary right here. And now we can just jump over to the next attraction and... Well, let's light up a bow sack, man. Oh, you're a bit shivery, you're a bit cold there, Dawn. I'm not surprised when it's freezing and we haven't got a jacket. Dee Dee. Stupid bad hill. Right, so press that one. Now we've got a whole bunch of stars that we can uh, interact with and jump on. So jump over to this rooftop. And then just blend yourself in. Now, again, obviously, make sure to be careful with the moons and, and poles and everything, like I don't do. And I did get a bit, uh, I, yeah, so there it was then, that first pole. Now, I've left this bit in just to let you, you know, just so you can see that it is easy to get back up. Just climb back up here, and we sort of start halfway in between this bit again. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know why, but again, here's another pole, so remember to keep dashing through it. Ah, oh, and again I fall. So, I do get it this time. Eventually. Come on, Dawn. I know you're cold. I know your nips are bigger than the Eiffel Tower at the minute. Because it's a bit nippy. Eh, get it? Eh, nips, nippy, cold. Hilarious. Right, so now we can jump over to the next rooftop when we're finally there. And just go ahead and jump up to the next hedge. Nice. Grab the 6 out of 15 luminary. And now we can move on. So, blend yourself. Blend that ass, blend that hooker ass back into the wall, girl. And we can just uh, dash through to the other side. That's nice. And then jump over. What we're going to do here is we're going to blend in, but we're going to wait until the big star that's in front of us um, moves on. Because there's no way you're getting through it without falling. So just wait until that one goes. And then we can jump over it. And we can just dash through this next side. There we go. Right, let's get another achievement. Go down to this sort of table area. Interact with this bottle on the table. And that is called the Cyclops Bottle. Old Leela from Futurama. So we're going to head down. Grab the seventh luminary. And then we can just jump up. And that is the balloon. Tangled and tangled and tangled. That's the first attraction done, I meant. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Yeah, I did. 
Where's my money? Where's my money, man? Doing all this work for you? Anyway, so that is the first one done. And, oh, hello, Mr. Strongman. Oh, look, it's me. If I was born back in the 1920s. Actually, I'd be the fat, lazy slob in the circus, to be honest, but there we go. Right, uh, head to the right from there anyway. Interact with this reel, or whatever that is. And then what we're going to do is jump on Guy's hat. You're going to wait until he starts slamming the ground, because he's all hardcore. Jump up on his head, grab the 8th Luminary. Wow, somebody's pissed off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, now we can just jump down. Now we're going to do this section. Um, this, to be honest, was probably my, my least favourite part of the game. It's one of those, um, you know, fairy tale princesses uh, stories and you've got to jump up and avoid things. I don't know, I just... It took about five or six minutes to completely do it. just wasn't that fun. It wasn't that fun for me, to be honest. But there is another missable achievement coming up. So, grab the hat, press the right trigger. We can skip this whole bunch of cutscenes and crap and dialogue because it just... It does yammer on for a bit, if I'm being honest. It, it does yammer on for quite a while. Right, so. Oh, as lovely as you could, yeah? Oh, fantastic then. So, uh, just keep skipping, just keep skipping. Right, so the first bit's not too bad. But again, there are a lot of times you're going to die. And when you die, you actually go out of the wall. Um, so you have to just go back in. It's just... Yeah, it's, but, was my most favorite part so jump up onto the tree branch here jump down obviously avoiding the spikes and then we're just going to jump up on this windmill now here is the missable achievement it is very easy so don't panic we just need to get through the crocodile infested waters in one sitting so just wait until the crocodile opens his mouth and as soon as he closes it jump across and then just keep going don't stop for anything you don't want to be munched you don't want that perky butt of yours to be munched do you oh hell nah so eventually, after about 20 seconds, the achievement should unlock, and there we go. So jump on the two right mushrooms here. Now what you need to do, to get over to the other side, you need to wait until the branch starts going up, and just as, as it's about to close, then you need to press the A button, and that'll give you a big jump to go over the death bamboo stick. So as you'll see, as soon as it starts just about to close, now press the A button, and that gives you the jump of life. Jump down, life is good, and everyone's happy. Right, so now we're going to come up to... All of your ex-partners. Ogre Breath. There you go. Does that look familiar to you? Yes, I bet it does. That is what your ex looks like now. Right, so jump up on this tree stamp. As soon as he's about to smash it down, jump up and jump over. Stay here right next to the tree branch. And as soon as he's about to attack you again, just jump up. Oh, almost got my ass munched. Not literally in the good way, of course. Jump over to the left and wait until your ex-boyfriend slash girlfriend gets crushed. So I bet you're happy with that one. So again, we, <laughs> we're doing a whole other bunch of cutscenes and stuff, so just keep tapping the Y button for a sec. Princess tricked the ogre and rescued Fred. Fred didn't feel... Fortunately, the... After several... So let us move on. Now that the useless prince is done, we can just keep on jumping. And keep on jumping across. We're all good for a second, but don't go too far when we get here. Do not jump over, of course, because there are a bunch of spikes. Again, a whole bunch of crappy, boring dialogue will be available. Unskippable this time. <laughs> so just wait another minute or two. Morning. She thought it might be Fred. So what do you think she did? I know, I know. What? She used an umbrella. What? Like that nanny in that movie. This is the Middle Ages, honey. Where would she get an umbrella? I don't know, but that's what she used. I don't, I, I don't think I have an umbrella. Well, you better find one, because she used an umbrella. Where am I supposed to get an umbrella? Yes, just like in that one film we won't mention. So press right trigger to get out, interact with the balloon, uh, the umbrella, sorry. And then what you need to do is just glide ever so slightly, but don't glide too much. So just go ever slightly to the left in just a moment. So just ever slightly there, because if you turn too much to the left, the umbrella disappears and you actually end up falling on the spikes. So that's why you got to do it with just gradual, progressional turns. So again, this bit's very easy. We're just floating down. We're just heading to the left. Ever so slightly. 
And there we go. When we get to this spider bit, that's fine. Just press the A button a couple of times. And now we're just going to run because a boulder's coming. Press the A button a couple of times there. And again, press the A button a couple of times. Then jump down here, go to the left, and wait until the boulder does not crush you half to death. Right, happy days. Now we're going to jump down, but that's actually a spider. So this now we're doing a kind of limbo section, except it's not annoying because we don't uh, we can die as many times as we want. But just try and keep jumping up rather than uh, jumping down like I just done there. Uh, you know, the less jumps you have to do, the better. Try and jump obviously over the spider webs as well. That kind of helps big time. And just jump up and up. If you've got arachnophobia, then get someone else to do this bit for you because uh, <laughs> the thought of a big spider like that coming after you is pretty gross. Right, jump up onto the first spider web. Keep going to the left there so you don't fall into him. Jump into the next spider web. That kills him. Now there's a whole bunch of boulders that are going to fall, so, uh, well, make your way to your left. There we go, so let's try not to get crushed, that's always a perfect, um, again, death and things, it's just such a minor inconvenience, isn't it? Or pretty much a major inconvenience. So there's, um, Fred, bit of a, <laughs> bit of a donkey ass, to be honest, literally. Right, enjoy the, uh, little bit of dialogue before he decides he wants to move out again. Brave song, very quietly. After a few days... Why our dad kept trying to give her away? That too. And away we go for the final time, finally. So we're basically going to kill a dragon, as you do in the role of the princess. This isn't exactly like Shrek, but anyway, can we... When we jump over to the next cavern here, there's going to be a falling boulder, so immediately turn left. And jump over to the other side to avoid more minor inconvenience death. Although I suppose sometimes uh, you've got to just embrace the sweet the sweet scent of death. It might just be better. Uh, no, probably not. Right. We've got a little bit of waterfall type thing happening to get to the other side. Jump up. And then I'm just going to show you not what to do. In fact, no, i tell you what to do. When we get here, move immediately to the second one. Stay on this one. And it'll just pop you up over the boulder. Life is as grand as you can imagine. So there we go. Keep on walking to the right, and now we are going to come up to El Dragonino, because Dongleberry Dickwad has be, uh, got himself uh, trapped again. So go over to the dragon, but immediately jump over to the left to avoid being um, fired. <laughs> Alan Sugar, you're fired, me. Right, and just keep doing the same three times. Go over to the right. He is going to somehow avoid charring Fred, but he's actually just going to destroy the rope for him, which is... I mean, that's a bad aim if you're a dragon, but um, good aim if you're <laughs> one of the world's worst knights. But that is that, finally. So we are now done with this bit. We've only got the pirate ride left. Thank God. Yay! Hey, Don, you did it! <laughs> Yay, we did it. Only have to die in a ton of times and be in an <laughs> being quite poured. Sorry with that bit. Honestly, that was, that was my least favourite part. But now we come to my favourite part, which is the pirate ship. Which is always fun. So just head over to the opposite side. And in fact, what we're going to do first... Oh, look, it's me again in the 1920s. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, we're just going to come here to um, this old hammering dude. So get in. Jump into the shadows. And then as soon as he's at full pelt... As soon as you hit the top, press the A button to jump up, grab yourself another Luminary, which is 9 out of 15 now. Like I said, they don't go for achievements or anything, just to progress the story a bit. So, here we go then, let's do the final one. And immediately there's going to be a collectible after this uh, cutscene, so slap that Y button, slap it hard. And then immediately turn to the left, and grab that collectible. Now we've only got one more left to get. Right, get Die Boy onto the boat, which is... Well, it could be tricky, but it's actually not. So we're just going to grab a box there, down the ramp, and then we need to go to the complete opposite side. So you can't go down the middle what, as you can see, you can't go down the middle there because the light is not strong enough. So go down to the other ramp, and there we go. So now the light is big enough. Now you need to put it in such a way where you can, um, if you sort of put it in the middle where you can jump on the gear cog, jump onto the box and jump on over to the other side so it's not too difficult um 
obviously you don't want it exactly on the gear cog like me there but just enough off that you should be fine so again blend into the wall as we do slam your ass up exactly not like that <laughs> you can do that a, a bit less crappier than me and just jump over press the b button of course there to fly over to the other side and then press the x button on the switch and there we go so that is that bit done game finished goodbye Ah oh, man, I tell you what, uh, Die Boy's getting quite annoying with her dialogue, sorry. <laughs> right, pick up this box and then put it over to the switch. And then press the X button there to drop that. I'll give you a vast there first, matey. Right, go um, blend into the wall, go into the next room here. And then what we need to do is interact with this uh, ship. Press down on the left stick. Just keep pressing down. I'd never steer you wrong. Yeah, steering ship, steer you wrong. Yeah, get it? Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. Ah, so, <laughs> when it stops anyway, press the B button to back out. Or the X button, sorry. Now immediately go back out of the room. Again, by blending into the walls. And then you need to blend into this wall and just jump up. But make sure to jump up on the um, top so that we can jump up onto the left. Bam. And there it is, job done. Easy cheesy lemon old squeezy on the old pleasure. Yeah. Right, if you want to, you can go, come and grab this luminary, which is number 10 out of 15. Again, just be careful not to um, fall down, because it's not difficult to get back up, but it's just, a, again, a minor inconvenience for a minute or two. Make sure to grab the box, and we're going to pick that up and go back into the room where the steering wheel was, with the ship wheel. He could be like Captain Jack Sparrow, except, uh, you know, not as awesome, to be honest. Right, pop that down on the switch, and then we've just got one more to grab. So, let's get our ass out again. And from here, we're going to go left. No, that's right. Okay, left, there we go. We're going back down, basically, to the starting area. There's going to be one more box that we can grab. So, again, using all of your incredible 1920s strongman strength, um, just pick it up. And I tell you what, she's got, uh, she's skinnier than everyone and she can pick up huge boxes like that. How does that make you feel? But, but it makes you feel like a, like a bit of a pussy, right? <laughs> right, me too. Right, so, drop the box by the wheel and then go back into the room. We're going to just be doing the, um, a timed puzzle. It is timed, but you've got a ton of time to do it. So, ship steering wheel all the way down and then make sure to pick up the box again, pressing the X button. And then just press uh, right trigger to shift in. And now we can just stay where we are. No need to jump. We're just chilling, killing, getting some epic shoulder, getting a hell of a shoulder workout and a bit of a bicep pump on as well. Just before we drop it. And from here we can just drop down. And then press the X button to pop that on the switch. That opens the doors. We are flying through. I'll give you straight on till morning, die boy. Shut your face, man. Right, anyway, before interacting with uh, Captain Die Boy, uh, grab the next luminary there from the right, and now we can interact with the ship. We've only got one more room to go before Act 2 is more or less done. Full speed ahead! All hands on deck! Let's down the Right, so first thing we're going to do is grab another missable achievement, so go back on yourself, um, jump onto the right here and up this sort of ramp bridge, and you can see a treasure chest just to the left, if you can <laughs> leave it until it's open, jump in, and that is another achievement, so very easy, but it is very easily missable as well, so, well there we go, no backpack bird needed, well aren't we just a barrel of laughs, right, back up the ramp, and now what we're going to do is interact with this switch. We're going to interact with it a couple of times. Um, basically to break it. Because, well, why not? We're an imaginary friend. We can do whatever we want. We've got special powers. Right, I think twice was probably needed, as long as it starts sparking up and going nuts like it's on, uh, you know, <laughs> like it's about to pass out then, we're all good. Right, go directly behind you, past this treasure chest on the left, 
and uh, blend into the wall here onto the rope so we can get to the other side. Now what we can do, I'm not sure if this was the way you were supposed to do it, but you can jump and then press the B button to dash over to the other side. Again, I'm not sure if that was the uh, total way to do it as we grab another luminary here, but uh, that's just an easier way instead of, um, I think you had to go up onto the tentacle there and do it this way. But uh, yeah, you can do it that way, who cares? We get there eventually, so up onto the old tentacle. Again, Japanese people will love tentacles. Just, I'm just joking. It's it's uh, <laughs> just a hentai joke. Nothing. In fact, I'd say more Americans, to be honest, than Japanese people. But uh, there we go. So um, <laughs> push the door over. Grab the old um, ball sack of life. It is literally a sack ball. So <laughs> don't at me. Don't cancel me yet. And then blend in. Wait until the um, tentacle again. I can see a whole bunch of uh, happy, happy people. Tentacle. Who said tentacle? Who's been looking at my porn hub? Uh, <laughs> jump, jump down anyway. And again, just blend into the wall. Move up. And then what you need to do is put the ball just in between the middle of the shadow. That's where you need to put it, rather than in the middle of the actual real life machine. Press the X button there, and it's going to get us going. But we've still got one more thing, tiny ting, left to do. Yeah, take that! Go back where you came from, you big squid! Wow, that's pretty racist towards Squidward, isn't it not? Hmm. Take that, you big squid. Harsh. Harsh. Right, uh, all we got to do now is actually just jump down and interact with um, old Die Die, old DD, who is in the cart on the tracks. But for some reason, I was going getting a bit dong slash mongish right here, not knowing. <laughs> I, I was getting ahead of myself, to be honest. So I ended up going down looking for a ball, which wasn't there yet, because you just go on the track at the top, as you can see, and interact with the boat and that's why it wasn't working so just in case you were wondering what what I was doing there for a couple of seconds I was being a bit stupid but of course alas I'm less stupid now potentially so what we got to do now is deliver the old final blow so basically we need to blow off the squid uh, yeah you heard that right so jump down grab the ball and go up the right hand side ramp and then just go to the opposite side blend in beautifully with the wall although not quite yet but we are going to blend in with the wall right um about um nah right blend in as soon as you get to the top and then we're just going to drop the ball roughly around here so close to the ramp uh close to the edge there on the left hand side just go back on yourself so we can interact with this uh lever and then put it up just so far that you can actually walk up because of course you cannot walk you cannot jump with a heavy set of balls a lot of males will know what that exactly feels like so as soon as we can do that we can now jump up uh, get out of the thing and then put the ball in and basically that's going to do it that is going to do it for us so again you can watch all the cutscenes if you want some are funny some are well actually it's not it's just die going Where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? So, screw that. Right, collect the luminary, and then we can just jump straight down, interact with the door a couple of times to chuck a couple of these luminaries in. And now we, like I said, we are basically coming to the end now. We've just got one little section left to do, and you didn't, don't even have to do anything. We're just literally following old Die Boy right here. Die, die. Again, she does walk kind of slow. Come on, you son of a... Anyway, as soon as you get down these stairs, go behind um, underneath the stairwell. There's going to be the 14th luminary, if so desired. And there should be a little piece, a uh, little um, gap we can get up and under right there. And now we can just go forward, straight forward, into the final room for Act 2. 15th luminary on the right before you head all the way down. So that's there if you need it. And the final collectible before interacting with the lever is directly on our left in this room. There it is. So now we should get that achievement for complete, uh, collecting all collectibles in Act 2. Hooray! Oh, hey. Oh, that is that is seduction at its finest level, that. Ah, uh, yeah. And there we go. Like I said, so for some reason, the more I went into the game, the achievements um, got longer to unlock for some reason. So interact with the lever. That'll be the end of Act 2. And we are, <laughs> we are just flying, flying without.
wings. So, act two. Right, all we got to do now is actually just head up towards the circus tent. So just up and up and up, up and up and up, up and up and up. We do look kind of circusy as like that uh, seduccione. Seduccione. Just waiting for the achievement to unlock, by the way. That is why I'm not getting too far ahead of myself, just in case uh, the achievement ends up not unlocking. So I wait for the achievement to unlock first, just in case you're wondering why I was just pissing about. Oh, circus. Oh, I wanted to see them shoot a gorilla out of a cannon. Top marks if you know what that quote is from. <laughs> it's pretty obvious because I am such I am nerd for it Right, so that's that one done. You should now not get another achievement But we do start act three and we've got about about 15 16 minutes left of the game now So that's always nice Right then die boy. Come on lad. Let's get it going. Keep walking You skinny bitch. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. There are generally tons of people called Die Die in, uh, in in Wales, which is hilarious. Nobody's called David. You're, you're either Die or you're nobody. Right, so jump up on the steps here. And this um, just get the cutscene going. The amazing Vincenzerino. He's a bit of a douchebag, really, but there we go. Right, so we're going to go ahead and just grab the four luminaries necessary for the level. Go down the stairs to the left here. And if we go to the right... Over into the table section, there is the first luminary. There's only four in this one, but there are another ten collectibles to gather. So, yeah, it's all good. Right, go to the left, up the stairs, straight ahead of us. You know, do your epic um, jumping, jumping dash Sonic skill if you want, if you'd like to call it that. Uh, go to the left and down the steps here, and to the left again. And there's another luminary at the end of this alleyway. And then, of course, we're going to turn around. My god, my nips are like AK bullets here, man. Freezing. Right, if we turn around to the left, there's going to be one more that we're going to grab. Have a look at this cutscene. Jump up. And then what you're supposed to do is jump up. Now, I'm not sure if... If you can jump out and then jump across. Because, of course, you've got to press the A button and then the B button to um, jump across and grab under the ledge. Or if you've got to wait until... The scene ends and then do the jump. Um, basically, as soon as he says, I've missed you so much, then you can do a jump and... Uh, yeah, that one did take a couple of times to get right. So, um, yeah, it should be... Should be fine, though. Should be fine. Again, not sure if all four are necessary to get, but just because there's so many little ones, um, I'd grab that one just in case. So, anyway, here we are. We're going to interact with these luminaries here. And then we're going to get this operation device going. What we need is for the globe on the right to have the little thing poking outside on the left, just poking down onto the floor. And the reason we're going to do that is we've got another ball sack of life. Pick it up. And then we need to blend into the wall. And we need to put it down. Uh, so you can do it a bit straighter so it doesn't get so, so it doesn't fall off. Um, but I end up just putting it down and then making a run for it. And <laughs> luckily it doesn't, uh, doesn't roll off for me, which is good. So, enter over the machine, keep it going, and basically it's going to automatically go up onto the, uh, the right-hand side shelf. So, you know, the stuff we can do, the power of imagination, the, uh, the power of imagination. Imagination, imagination. So, to the opposite side, go up this staircase. Imagination, imagination. Sorry. Um, grab the ball and put it down the hole. I've heard many people who like balls in their holes. Um, and uh, most of them, to be honest, a lot of them you'll see they get paid really well for it. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, so from here what we're going to do is directly in front of us right there. Now we've got the bells working. You need to jump up and then as soon as the bells go down and then as soon as the other side goes up. Just make a run for it and get straight on the drums, straight across onto the cymbal, and that is how you do that. You can go up the staircase and jump across onto the cymbal, but it's a little bit more tricky, a little bit more complicated, and it may take you minutes rather than seconds the way we've just done it. So, do it, do it. Right, jump down. If you look behind you, jump over here, and there's going to be another collectible, the first out of this level. Obviously, this is the shortest act, so we... 
the, the collectibles are going to fly at us quicker than uh, <laughs> quicker than wieners at a bukkake party. Ah, uh, yeah, I said it again. Right, <laughs> anyway, grab this projector. What we need to do is drag it down and drag it to the left. Uh, exactly not what I'm doing right now. Um, basically, until the big gear cogs are on the wall directly in front of us. So, there we go. So, roughly about... And have a look at the other shadows as well, because you need to be climbing up on them as well. So, put it sort of, well, yeah, to the left, quite close to the big um, statue or the big bubble thing in front. So, around there, should be fine. Right, up we go. Now, if you do end up getting crushed, you just, you don't die, of course. You just end up, as you'll see, whoops, went a bit too early on that one. Uh, but you'll just get out, so you need to go back in. And just wait, take your time. Nay, need to rush. Nay, bother rushing. Yeah, no. There you go. Fly through. Beautiful. Right. Jump over. And you should uh, should make it into the armpit or whatever the hell we're in. Again, just be careful not to overdo your jumps in case you fall and it's a pain in the ass. Jump to the other side. And that is how we do that puzzle. Simple mans. Yeah, no, it's not mans. Get into the secret wake shop. Right, henyo, my baby. Henyo, my honey. So, let's not go the same way I just did, because we've already been there. Just go straight in front of us. And this is a very easy puzzle. All we got to do is just jump up on the old uh, cannon right here. Wait for old janitor boy. Man, he looks sad as a janitor. You're not funny like the janitor from Scrubs. Uh, as soon as he turns around, jump on his shoulder blade. And then quickly make a jump and dash for it before he turns back around. And there we go into the next room. Right, collectible on the right. So make sure to pick that one up before leaving. And what we're going to do, uh, you can open the doors if you want. It makes literally no difference. Um, but it's just in case you end up falling as we go up to the staircase. Just in case you end up falling. Uh, it's just an easy way to go through. So uh, immediately go to your left. Again, you can jump over to that, to that bit in the middle if you wanted. But it's easier just to... Um, blend into the wall and literally walk across with no <laughs> issues at all. Um, there we go. Another collectible is going to be on the left as soon as you jump in. So grab that. And that'll be the third one. And just go straight down for a, a, um, a, 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 a cutscene. Uh, hello, my child. Hello, my child. How did you get out of my basement, child? <sighs> just joking. So, <clears throat> right. Here we go. We got into the workshop. We should be getting an achievement because what we can do is just go straight. We're going to meet DD, uh, meet Dai Dai back at the stage, which is right here. But again, just waiting for the achievement to unlock. Again, because there have been games where if you go too far, too fast, it ends up the achievement ends up not unlocking. So I thought rather than uh, have to do that and chat to select and all that jazz, there it is. So we just wait. Better to do, better to do. So, wait for the achievement to unlock. Vincenzo, as we know, is complete douchebaggery ass hatteroni. Right, and that, now, this is the final big puzzle of the game to do. And it's not too bad, honestly. Like, the puzzles in the game have not been too bad. Uh, but just jump down, go to the right. And as you can see, there is one big lighthouse. It's a terrible world. There's a bugger all that works. There's no people about. Everyone's a shadow except for Die Bog. Die Die by you. Anyway, uh, go inside by shifting in and moving in. And pressing the button there, pressing the switch on the left. And we've got to do a little bit of lighting. Very easy though. So just interact with the. Um, we'll call it the spotlight thing right in front of us. Uh, for some reason, I'm not sure if you have to go a bit bit slow to begin with because I tried just slamming it over to the left and it wasn't working so put it down ever so slightly and just move a little bit there's going to be a box right in front of us but we need to blend in so make sure to go over pick it up blend in and then drop it there we go and then shift out so with this one as soon as we interact with the spotlight again be very careful um, because if it hits any of the cracks up or below um, it will just drop down and we needed to get it right here. So just be careful, uh, nice and careful with that one. Now you need to put that spotlight basically back to where it was just pointing, but I'll do that in a second anyway. So grab the box for now, put it on the switch below, uh, behind you, and that's going to unveil some secret stairs. Who knows what the flub they are? 
But we are going to know. So interact with the spotlight again until it shoots uh, a basic laser beam out. Handy. Right, from here, just go over... Um, just, in fact, wait, sorry, we're going to wait at the top of the stairs. That's what we're doing. Apologies. Uh, wait at the top of the stairs for the spotlight to come round. And as soon as it does, jump in and spotlight yourself in. And then shift yourself back out, pick up the box, and again, wait for the spotlight to go round before shifting back in. Again, we are literally Tom Stoltman in life right now. We are just, we are literally the world's strongest woman. And we don't even know. And we don't even get paid as well for it in the 1920s, which is a damn shame. So, dropping the box down. Now we can just jump down and climb up these set of stairs again. Literally just a few minutes away now from ending the game. So, uh, a lot shorter than I remembered, to be honest. I did complete it literally six years ago. Anyway, when we get to the top, there's another collectible on the left here. There's a big poster on the wall. So, make sure to grab that one. And then we can interact with the lever. What's going to happen? Ah, oh, hen More interesting stuff. Right, let's go back up the steps, just behind us. And we are going to get yet more cutscenes. In fact, no, we're not. We're just carrying on. Right, there's going to be another two collectibles in this room. So, uh, straight in front of you, there is the first one. Go around ever so slightly. And the next one is on a box right there. So, make sure to grab those two before moving on. We've just got a couple left now to grab. Now we can interact with the lever. Now, basically, this is a timed puzzle. So, as you can see, the lights just um, opened up on the left-hand side. So, as soon as they go, they will start. If you don't go quick enough, they'll start going back. So, as soon as you interact with the lever, run up the stairs, uh, get yourself in the wall, and then just press the B button to dash across a couple of times. You don't have to do anything specific or fancy until we get there. Happy days. Another couple of collectibles. First one's on this box here. And then run your ass back up those stairs. I mean, and there's going to be, if we just go around the corner, there's another two. And then after this one, there'll be one more left to grab. And as I say, fair play, Dawn can run in high heels. Jesus Christ. Man, I can barely run with no shoes on. Without being fat and Homer Simpson-like and out of breath after 12 seconds. Right, um, interact with both of these uh, switches, if we call it. Get some laser beams going. Yeah, get both laser beams going. And now, uh, we're just going to jump up on this gear cog right here, or gear wheel, whatever you want to call it, wherever you're from. Jump over to the right-hand side. And we are... <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Head behind you to grab the final collectible in a room full of weird posters. Oh, wow. Now, that is the night they got pregnant, definitely. It's that moustache. Every woman loves a little pencil-thin moustache. Back um, back when everyone was blind, apparently, and had the plague. So, that should be that. Now, now we should have all collectibles in the game, which should be good. Um, again, if you don't, um, every collectible stays collected anyway, so you should be able to just replay the chapter. So, jump down, grab the box, put it against the back wall. Dar she blows. Go into the building again, and then interact with the switch once more, so that gives off another bit of laser beaming. Uh, interact with the spotlight. As we've done so often in this game. Uh, we need to press the right trigger there to focus the spotlight. But of course what you need to do is uh, pick up the box, shift in, and then drop it and shift back out. Drop in, shift out. Mm -mm. Sounds like a real crappy DJ song. But crappy DJs still make a shit ton of money. So yes, I'm not envious at all. Right, put the box at the top. Just where you've seen the little shine right there. Then press X to back out and jump up. And there we go, right, so <laughs> we'll have to shift back in, grab that box, shift back out, drop that box. Oh yeah. Where's my record deal, bras? Where is my freaking record deal? Right, from this one, just put it over to the opposite wall, just on the other side. Jump back down, interact with the spotlight again, and then move this one um, just down so it gives off that little laser beam, as you can just see. And then jump up, interact with the next spotlight. And of course, dopey ass Dingleberry forgot to um, put the drop, put the box back in. So shift back in, drop that box, shift back out, leave that box there. Oh yeah, you, you. suck my balls, oh yeah. Uh, right, sorry. So again, focus the spotlight, make sure you've got the brick. And then as soon as the wall turns around, just slam it as quick as you can through to the other side. I do take my time there just, uh, just to be on CF sad. And there we go. That is 
well, that's how you get the box across the other side. Be careful. Don't you be dropping a frame box over the other side. Because you would be pissed if, man. Pissed if. Right, grab the box, pop it on here. And, well, well, we're not done yet. Right from here, just jump over and then uh, sp uh, shift in. Wait until the... Um, wood disappears the other side then jump up again this is another point where you can jump actually onto the wooden beam itself and jump over but again that's a bit of trial and error and you just haven't got time for it so as soon as we're on the stairs jump out and now well this is a I mean all of this is just an easy bit you're literally just following the path along um, there's just gonna be a whole load of poses so just take your time wait until they finish speaking the dialogues literally only seconds long and then just jump up it's this bit is generally not too bad at all. You think you're gonna jitterbug your way back into our lives with a lot of sweet talk? Here we are at the end of the universe. Jump up again, try not to fall down. But it doesn't make a difference because as soon as you get here, this is finally the end of the lighthouse section. Interact with that, make sure to move the spotlight down onto the stage. And there she blows. Luckily, we don't have to jump all the way back down. <laughs> we just go there um, immediately, automatically. So we're going to meet a young die lad at the stage again. Let there be light. That achievement unlocks. And now the only one we're going to uh, wait for. Well, the only thing that we've got left to do is for finishing the game. Alright, so we need to finish Young Die Lad once more. Uh, finish. I mean, uh, follow. Wait, that's <laughs> both of them sounded wrong. And the way to do that is not do exactly what I just done there. Um, go back onto the stage and go to the left from here. There we go. Yeah, donkey's butt snatch. So, just follow it around, and then that's basically going to be the end of the game. There it is. So, a couple of cutscenes. It's all a happy ending. If you don't want to know, or if you don't care about the cutscenes, you just skip them. It's all a happy ending. Uh, Vincenzo takes little die lad. Oh, she takes him down to Vietnam and then back to Wales where she's born, man. Or die, die. And then uh, Johnny and Kat get back together, because, you know, Kat Slater, Schlag, and Johnny, gangster piece of shit. I mean, that's it. Basically, everyone's got a happy ending. Dawn gets a jacket finally, so her, her <laughs> so her nips can chill out and uh, she can be warm for once instead of being frozen, even for an imaginary character. But there we go. Final achievement should unlock there, and that is that. So thank you so so much <laughs> for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game. I really enjoyed this the first time and the third time that I played through this. So good. Um. So, yeah, fa fantastic game from Compulsion Games there. But again, if the guide helped, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Don't forget to check me out my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Honestly, you guys and gals are just... Blamissimo. You legends, huh? You legends. And there we go. Well, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this Game Pass game. I shall see you in the next one. Big love.